ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so once again, Tea Girl Down with Strikes, okay? So I know a lot of you guys have been tagging me in the new upcoming season of the Kardashians. If you guys don't know, the season 16 trailer was just released. And surprise, surprise to no one, especially me, okay? Uh, they managed to fit the whole Jordan Woods, Tristan third trimester Thompson, and Khloe Kardashian drama into this damn season, okay? Literally, all this just went down last month. I was just in LA a month ago, sitting in my damn Airbnb, you know what I'm saying, breaking down the whole situation. And less than a month later, all of a sudden, this is on this season, on season 16, you know what I'm saying, of Keeping It With The Kardashians. When I tell you that damn bitch Kris Jenner don't sleep, honey, Kris Jenner does not sleep, okay? She is the damn boss of all bosses. She said, fuck this, at the end of the day, we're gonna get the last laugh. We're gonna milk this for all the attention we can milk it for. We're gonna milk it for all the ratings. We're gonna get some money off this shit, just like Jada Pinkett got money off of this when she invited Jordan Woods to talk on the red table talk. And during the trailer, you will see Khloe Kardashian right along with her best friend Malika. They're watching the red table talk and she starts screaming and saying, liar! You know, so this entire situation is just insane, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Khloe Kardashian is screaming and sobbing. It sucks. In the juiciest Keeping Up With The Kardashian teaser yet. I'm not just a TV show. Like, this is my life. Sometimes the world forgets just to be kind and that we're all going through something. Khloe Kardashian breaks down as she sounds off on her ex, Tristan Thompson's cheating scandal. It seems like the show will also get into the Jordan Woods of it all. Here's to Jordan and Kylie. Chloe initially blamed Jordan for breaking up her family after the model admitted on Red Table Talk she did make out with Tristan. I know I'm not the reason that Tristan and Chloe are not together. I'm no home wrecker. Right. I would never try to hurt someone's home. Right. Especially someone that I love. Right and someone who I've seen has a beautiful daughter. Chloe's since walked back with her blame claim and a source tells ET despite the drama, Chloe is keeping her daughter a priority. Quote, true is the only thing that matters, not Tristan's lies. True is the best thing that's happened to me ever. It's difficult, nothing is private. Everyone feels like they have the right to talk about you, even though they have absolutely no idea what's going on. Kylie Jenner speaks out for the first time since Jordan became estranged from the reality TV family in the sneak peek. I just hope that there's a light at the end of this tunnel, but I don't see it right now. Something Kim K can't see happening in the near future, the West moving to the Midwest. Moving to Chicago might be my breaking point. Kim officially addresses Kanye's comments about permanently relocating their family. Back in September, Ye claimed he was moving back to his hometown and never leaving again. We just can't seem to catch a break. Looks like tears, talks, and more tea to spill when Keeping Up With The Kardashians returns Sunday, March 31st. Really, Chloe? Really? So she wants everybody to handle her situation with kitten gloves and she's human and you know, this is her life. And I agree, she is very much human. That is her life. But again, you've done the same thing to other people. Now you know how that shit feels, okay? I'm sure Trina was crying her eyes out behind the scenes when you basically took her living boyfriend, French Montana from her, okay? I'm sure Jordan uh, Craig, uh, Tristan Thompson's baby's mother was also crying her eyes out when you basically took him from his six month pregnant girlfriend at the time, okay? So that's the thing. Like I always say, the same way you get them is how you lose them. Meanwhile, Tristan Thompson is out here living his best life, honey. He's in cars rapping. He's on the beach drinking nice cold drinks and shit acting totally unbothered. And then they're also saying that Tristan has not seen True, the baby, in quite some weeks. So, you know, at the end of the day, regardless of him and Chloe are together or not, he still needs to be a father to that child, okay? It's not okay for him to not see his kid anymore. He has two children. He needs to stop chasing women and start being a father to both of these babies. 
So this entire situation is insane, but once again, like I said, I'm not surprised at all that somehow they managed to re-pick up production, record all this bullshit playing out, get it quickly edited, and stuffed into season 16 of Keep It Up With The Kardashians. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Are you going to be tuning in this season? Are y'all here for the bullshit? Or do you feel like, you know what, I don't give a damn how many trailers y'all put out there. Chris Jenner, you're not baiting me into watching your bullshit show, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.